Retired Marine Sergeant Major John Canley will be awarded the Medal of Honor today for his service in the Vietnam War. As a gunnery sergeant, Canley led more than 140 men during the Battle of Hawaii during the first phase of the Tet Offensive. He's also the first living African-American Marine and the 300th Marine overall to receive the Medal of Honor. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin spoke with Canley recently. He joins me now from the Pentagon. David, great to see you. Tell us exactly why Canley is receiving the Medal of Honor. Well, at the time of the battle in 1968, very shortly thereafter, he received the Navy Cross, which is the second highest award uh, that can be given to uh, for valor in combat. And there has been in recent years an ongoing review of all those uh, Navy crosses and distinguished service uh, crosses that were awarded and, and may have been eligible uh, depending on their actions for the uh, Medal of Honor. And when you go back and you read the, uh, the witness statements of uh, what uh, uh, then Gunnery Sergeant Canley did in this uh, running battle uh, in the southern part of Huey, uh, there's really no doubt that uh, he deserved the, uh, the highest award. The risks he took uh, to pull wounded Marines out of uh, the line of fire to uh, help them uh, charge uh, buildings and machine guns uh, that were armed by the North Vietnamese were uh, just extraordinary. In fact, uh, one of the eyewitness uh, statements uh, called it uh, suicidal. So he <clears throat> is now receiving the Medal of Honor. Whether or not he would have received the Medal of Honor back in 1968 had he not been an African American, remember that's 50 years ago, there's no telling. But I think one of the things that uh, this review was uh, intended to correct was if people had been uh, denied the uh, the highest honor uh, on the basis of uh, race or some other uh, non-consequential matter. It's a wonderful thing then, these yeah. reviews. Now in your interview with Canley, he spoke about his experience that day. Let's play that bite. In war, people die. Um, in my situation, I'm only speaking about my situation, I can't think of any other way or reason of where I would rather die than with my Marines. Do you think you were going to die that day? That never crossed my mind. You were wounded, weren't you? Minor wounds. Minor wounds. Were you afraid? Um, let me say this. Uh, my Marines de depressed or um, any fear that I had in the enemy. What does that mean? They it means that because of them, uh, knowing that they was 100% behind me, um, fear never existed. I didn't know what that word was. It's incredible listening to that. How yeah. how does that reflect who Canley is? Just, just listening to him, I'm struck by how much better he is than, than most people on this planet. Well, uh, you know, he's 80 years old now. And uh, he still has this just enormous uh, command presence about him. I mean, I'd do whatever he told yeah. me to do. Um, <clears throat> the rest of that interview was basically me trying to get him to tell me what he had done. And he, he wouldn't tell me. He, and he was uh, downright uh, annoyed that I would be asking. Uh, and so his answers were, oh, I don't remember, or oh, I was just uh, reacting to the uh, situation. And then he started talking about all the other Marines that had served in Vietnam and how they never got any recognition for having done 13 months in country. And as he, he described it, uh, 
uh, without the proper weapons, without the proper training, and without the proper leadership uh, from from higher command. And he said it was it was something that uh, uh, to this day offends him. So uh, when he receives that medal today, uh, he really does uh, see himself as a representative of all the Marines who served in uh, in Vietnam. Well, it's crystal clear how deserving he is. David, what does it mean to him receiving this award, this medal? Well, <clears throat> he did uh, acknowledge that, that he was honored by this. Mm -hmm. um, he, he fought side by side with another Marine sergeant named uh, uh, Al Gonzalez. And together they charged a machine gun. And together they would uh, charge a building uh, deliberately exposing themselves uh, to enemy fire so that they could uh, uh, pinpoint where the enemy was firing from and take out those positions. And during that, uh, uh, Sergeant Gonzalez was shot in the stomach by a rocket-propelled grenade and was killed. He received the Medal of Honor posthumously, and in fact, it was Sergeant Canley that provided the eyewitness statements that justified the Medal of Honor for Sergeant G Gonzalez. So now, 50 years after Sergeant Gonzalez died, he is joining him as a recipient of the Medal of Honor, and that obviously means uh, something to him. What an inspiring story. David Martin, thank you. And sure. you can see more of David's interview with retired Sergeant Major John Canley tonight on the CBS Evening News. And you can tune in to CBSN at 4 p.m. Eastern when President Trump will present him the Medal of Honor. That is 4 p.m. Eastern only right here on CBSN.